songwriter, voiceover artist, music publisher, and producer, and now the host of the Second Chance Show. It's Detroit's own gospel artist and your host. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only talented and gifted Brother Mike. Independent artists, new artists of the new millennium. It's the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. This platform is designed to showcase and share the second chance that has been given to those who have been blessed to receive another chance at a journey in life that they thought would never come. This show is sure to bless you and to encourage you with not just the musical talents, but life testimonies of how one has made it over by the favor and grace of God. This show will feature local and national artistry. Join us each and every second and fourth Sundays of the month on TV33 and channel 91 for Comcast subscribers. Or download Roku on all media devices. For more information on the show, visit www.brothermike.com or email us at the second chance show at brothermike.com. Cheryl Underwood got her own show, now you get yours. Have a business or talent you want to showcase? Have your own show simulcast on WHPR-TV and radio and on Comcast Cable and all of your favorite apps and devices. But the best way to get it, you got to come through here to get it because I wouldn't be here if this wasn't a real deal Holyfield. Come on, you know, come on. Packages start at just $99. Call now. Download the WHPR-TV app and catch the Cheryl Underwood show wherever you are. platform 
for uh, this old whole world, especially in a positive uh, light. Uh, and many black brothers who get such a negative uh, outpouring of uh, uh, media coverage most of the time. Uh, so God blessed me with this uh, platform, and uh, I am going to do my best to use it to uh, enlighten and, and uh, further the dreams of our young black people. You tuned in to the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. And today, I'm so honored and pleased and uh, very proud of this young man. He's a Michigan State graduate. I think he's on his last semester in Michigan State. Uh, he is a R&B rapper, uh, songwriter, uh, with a brand new project out. I'd like for you to help me welcome Jay Bass. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, man? Man, you got it going on. First of all, this name of yours, man, alone. It's going to bless some people when they just say the name J. Bass. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that name carries, the, the uh, amount of weight that name carries? Yeah, yeah I definitely heard about it. And you guys are educating me, educating me on it. It's just uh, like it's going to be alive. Yeah. 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 I want to learn a little more about that, man. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you for having me on the show. Oh, oh man. man. What class? Man. I can tell you. You've been raised up. <laughs> That is uh, certainly a great uh, opportunity that I can give uh, the, our black educated kids. Uh, even, doesn't matter your background, following your dream is what inspires me to do what I do. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, okay, yeah, man, I'm from Detroit, West Side. Um, I grew up here, born and raised here. I love the city. That's like one of the loves I have, one of my lives, you know, why I do what I do. Yeah, my family, you got the city of Detroit, so. Um, I'm so blessed to, you know, have grown up in the city that carries such, you know, tradition, such, such, like, it, it breeds artists like myself. So that's one of the things that made me become the type of artist I am. But um, I went to Cass Tech. You know, I always knew I wanted to do something different. Wow. Especially going to a school like that. Yes. You know, I, was, I always knew I wanted to do something different than what I saw out there in my neighborhoods and stuff like that. So um, that took me to college, you know, just went to Michigan State. I always wanted to go to Michigan State, go green, go white. Wow, um, bro. But um, went up to Michigan State, you know, saw something different. And Did I you? And this love to just be an artist and, and perform, you know, my life a lot. So um, I definitely just want to just be that person who can get back to myself. That is so exciting. I'm sorry, can you hear me? Talking to the mic, my bad. That's all right. We live, Doc. Anything might happen on the, when you're going live. We're getting you ready. Right. We're getting you ready. I see great and mighty things in your pathway. Appreciate that. Man. Yes. So, uh, what inspired the new project? Michigan Weather. Well, the first thing that inspired is my pops. Um, I grew up in the studio. My dad was an artist, manager. Um, really? Yeah. I, I, when I was young, I really like, sat through projects being made. Mm-hmm. You know, the inception of the project, so I'm thinking about it, writing it down, writing the verses, making the beat, and I just fell in love with music. So Michigan Weather was one of my dad's first mixtapes, so I kind of played off of that. And not only that, um, I learned my flow and my, my style and my topics to be as sporadic as Michigan's Weather. So that's kind of what inspired that first project. Wow, that's incredible, brother. That's really inspiring. Uh, and I listened to it, uh, and very, very good. You're a talented rapper uh, and an educated rapper. And uh, I'd like to ask you if, if you if you couldn't rap, what else would you like to do? Oh, man, I love acting. Um, really? Yeah, All right. I, I would say, honestly, like, acting and making music is right there. The only reason that, that music is a little bit overacting for me is that I get to perform. And being on stage is, like, one of the best places in my life. Yeah. And it's not my favorite place to be. To make people feel good. I know when I'm singing and, and I get that response and that feedback from the audience. Right. It just gives you the strength to continue to, you know, do more and, 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 and give more. Exactly. Is that what you get? Oh, 100%, man. That's, that's, that's my, my love is to make people feel good, make people happy. Because I realize, you know, through acting and making music, that when I'm performing those talents, that when people are paying attention to me, they're getting away from all of the pressures that they're having. Yeah. Uh, you know, the day or whatever that, that's bothering their minds, you know, when they're listening to a good song or they're watching a good show, you know, they're not thinking about any of that. And I like being that relief to people. That's amazing, bro. Uh, I'd like for you to speak to that young man or even one young girl out there that has that dream that inspired to be 
uh, rapper will just say that, you know, do it now. <laughs> you got to start as soon as possible. Um, I think one thing that holds people back is just them holding themselves back. They think, like, well, maybe, you know, I'll do this when I'm done with my degree, or I'll do this when I got more time. And you always got to start as soon as possible because you got to go through those roadblocks. You got to go through those hiccups. Yeah. You learn, you know? Man, you sound like you've been doing this a while. I mean, you really, really sound I grew up, you know, I grew up watching this. So, you know? so what was Dad's most, what was Dad like uh, when you told him he wanted to be in this entertainment industry? He said, get in the booth. He <laughs> did? Yeah. I, mean, I heard he was going to say, he said, go to school first. I don't know. I mean, school was always definitely a big thing. But for me, I, I mean, I was always good in school. Mm. I wasn't good in school. I, was, I mean, I got in trouble. But as far as the academics, you know, I always had that. So I, I think my parents kind of knew, you know, I, I was going to have that, you know, that, that, that taken care of. Mm, okay. But, you know, my dad, like, he, like, he's a creator, too. So he wanted me to pursue that passion and not let it, you know, not bother it up and go to school and stuff like that. And I think that that's one of, one of the messages I have in my music as well. All right. We can probably get you to freestyle a little something a little bit later on the show. Oh, we have got to cut to a break, uh, pay a couple of bills, hear a word from our sponsors, and we will be right back shortly. So don't you go anywhere. This is a great, great day, a great topic. We're talking to a wonderful young man, Jay Baz, a uh, uh, rap artist, uh, songwriter, Entertainment, and I'm gonna put actor behind it also. So you be uh, still, don't go nowhere. Don't touch your dog. We'll be right back. A new exciting platform for independent artists, new artists of the new millennium. It's the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. This platform is designed to showcase and share the second chance that has been given to those who have been blessed to receive another chance at a journey in life that they thought would never come. This show is sure to bless you and to encourage you with not just the musical talents, but life testimonies of how one has made it over by the favor and grace of God. This show will feature local and national artistry. Join us each and every second and fourth Sundays of the month on TV33 and Channel 91 for Comcast subscribers. Or download Roku on all media devices. For more information on the show, visit www.brothermike.com or email us at the Second Chance Show at brothermike.com. Second chances here at this show, man. I have a platform here uh, mainly for independent artists, but you can also catch everything about Brother Mike on Brother Mike underscore and one. Uh, my production company, Brother Mike Productions, is in full swing. We have great, great, and mighty projects on the way. I'm in the studio doing new music, uh, working with some great, great producers. And uh, all is well. God is good. Uh, mm, I'm thinking about his name. His name is Jabez. And uh, I remember that prayer. Lord, bless me indeed. Uh, and keep your hands on me. Keep all evil away. Oh, God. And most of all, enlarge my territory. You understand what that means? That's your name, dog. You were named after one of the most famous praying men in the Bible. Yeah, that was Jabez. That's what I think about. I, I mean, like I said, that's, that wasn't my birth name, so it's kind of a name that just happened. You know, it wasn't something I thought about. It did just happen. Yeah. Right. Nothing. And you know, I heard uh, famous T.D. Jake say it too. Nothing just happens right. in your life. God has destined every single step. It's been set, etched in stone, and it's going 
to be. Nobody can stop it. And don't you dare listen to anybody to tell you that they can stop it. Because what God has for you is for you. And I don't mean preach. Let's get back uh, into this. I'm the uh, world. Uh, who are some of your favorite rappers? Oh, uh, man, this is real controversial because, like, <laughs> when, you, when you say you endorse somebody, it comes with, you know, you, if you say you like them, it, people think you like everything about them, you know? Well, you so can like, like yeah. I'm going to say it right now, my favorite, my, my, you know, my biggest inspiration in music is Kanye West. 100%. Oh, wow, okay. Kanye West. Um, we don't have no, I don't have, I can't judge you because you like Kanye. <laughs> Kanye is a brilliant, brilliant songwriter, rapper, artist. He really is. Has built an empire worth millions of dollars. Man, the young true. man came from nothing, actually. And look at him now, so they can say what they want to say about Kanye. <laughs> but Kanye ain't hurt. <laughs> Kanye doing Kanye's right, thing. Right. I, I look at him, and you know, I think he's going through a few things. Right. Like we all do and will at some point in time. But you can't hold it against him. The guy has a great business mind. Exactly. Uh, for you to say he's your, uh, one of your mentors in, in your mind. That's just fine. I mean, never be ashamed. The guy is a brilliant, brilliant worker. Right. Yep. And anybody else? Um, I mean, female rap artists, off the top of your head. The best one, I think. Mm-hmm. Right now, Nicki Minaj, 100%. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the song she's been putting out as a lady to me, I like, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, some people, people have their moments, you know, when they're not the top top artists in their lane. But when, they, when it's all said and done, when you look at, especially people who write their own music, which yeah. I take big pride in, um, Nicki Minaj, all that. And Nicki stepped out into the acting world and made a great debut on a couple mm-hmm. of nice movies. Yeah. But we didn't know that's a hidden talent. Right. And uh, I was like, go, Nick. You know, <laughs> Nicki ain't doing her thing. And she's a pretty girl. Uh, I think she had a bad kind of got into a bad light on American Idol. Remember she was hosting American Idol? Yeah. That yeah. didn't work out well with her and Mariah. Her and Mariah didn't, didn't see eye to eye too much. <laughs> but I was well, you know, hey, it, 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 it was what it was. I will say, too, um, one of my biggest inspirations next to Kanye, I want to have a similar career as them as Will Smith. Um, oh, I want to yeah. be at the top in my level as far as music. And then I want to be at the top as far as when it comes to making movies and motion pictures and stuff like that. Um, I mean, that's just, I, I do it a type of life, you know. And I, and I do the type of person Will Smith is. He's a good man. Oh, yeah. Uh, funny quick story about Will. A buddy of mine lives in New York. And uh, they were shooting a movie uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, Will's bus uh, was so big. At first, everybody was all excited. Oh, my God, it lets out this way, and it lets up that way. And they was all excited about Will's bus. But after a while, it became an eyesore to him. <laughs> so then they started complaining about Will's bus. And Will had to move his bus. But, I mean, you know, just think about this guy built an empire also. Yeah. And people like that, they inspired me. Right. You know, I uh, started a career at a, a later, latter year. The, the word of God says your latter will be greater in uh, your past, so uh, I stepped out on faith after years and years of singing at funerals and backing people up like Patti LaBelle, some of your national artists. Uh, this platform was given to me after I did my EP, and hey, it's been nominated eight times. I'm on the ninth nomination. Wow. I just traveled the world so this year. I've been everywhere from New York uh, to Alabama where I received my first award. And, man, that was special. Absolutely. You know, victory is sweet. Yeah. You know, when you've done something and you put your, I put my own money behind me. Right. I've been an investor also, and uh, so I decided to invest in myself. Right. And uh, it paid off. You know, I'm on my way in February to uh, Texas, to the Texas Excellence Gospel Music Award Show, wow. uh, where I'm nominated three times. So uh, I just say that not to brag on myself. No, I right. give all the glory to God, That's but I just want to be an inspiration to you not to give up when you don't want to kind of look dark, right. you know. And sometimes, uh, a lot of times, the people that you think will be behind you 100 percent, the Lord sent other angels mm-hmm. because God is like that. And I can tell you always put God first. You don't have no choice. 
not because they dance and already played over your life. But uh, tell me about your parents. Oh, man, yeah. So, like I said, my dad always been in music, a um, great inspiration in my life, and, you know, just another father as well. Uh, but my mom, she came from Tennessee to Detroit when she was around 14, 15. What cause um, is yeah, my family, my family's from Tennessee. Oh yeah, Memphis, bro. That's where we at. All right, what? The White Hill, Donovan, okay. Memphis. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, every year, my grandmother, she lived. Uh, well, her grandmother was still living at ninety-two, uh-huh. and she would go home to Chicago. I'm going home twice, and she would drive all the way there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah twice a year, yeah. Yeah. and I'd be right there <laughs> in the middle. Of Curve to the left, girl, my curve to the right. And uh, we just had a great time. I was blessed to have uh, great parents and great grandparents yeah. also. And you speak a lot about your dad. You know yeah. what kind of positive messages that's sending right now to our TV viewers, especially our second chances. Mm-hmm. I guess a lot of second chance stories of young men who have spent years in jail. And uh, they're now getting out, you know, after a law had been passed that uh, – Juveniles could not be sentenced to life. Uh, a lot of them are getting up. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping and I'm praying that we're inspiring you, uh, my second chances, as I say, uh, to keep the faith. Don't give up on your dream, no matter what, no matter who is not for you or looking like they're not for you. Don't worry about likes on Facebook. Don't worry about hits on Facebook. We do it. We, you know, we go live. We do all that stuff. But one thing about me, I pray that I bless you. But I don't live by likes. And I don't live by views and all that. Although I welcome them, I don't live by that. That doesn't bother my spirit. Sometimes stuff like that can hinder your spirit. What's next for you? Man, so I graduate um, from Michigan State this next Saturday coming up. Um, and then after that, I'm trying to go full-time into music. Um, but I also work with a company, a events and travel company called University of Iowa. I'm oh, okay. direct to work there. Um, really? That's yeah, yeah. So you have a job. Oh, yeah. yeah right now That's I'm a good right thing. Doing great. We, um, we, we just got featured in Entrepreneur Magazine, actually. Uh, so we, we bust over. I'm not bust. We traveled over 100,000 students so far oh, all across wow. the country. Um, so, yeah, that's my boy, TK. Shout out to TK. Um, if you're watching this, hey, I'm sure you are. I'm hired in this, uh, in this company, and we've been flourishing. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes with that. From from that company, we've been able to work with Michigan State to um, actually architect the event planning minor at Michigan State University. So this past semester, I've been TA in a class that my best friend TK has been instructing on event planning. So we've been doing all of that as well. On top How of can we get that information and also your information? Yeah, well, if you want to go to learn about the minor that we're architecting at Michigan State, you can go to MSUEventLeadership.com. That's our website. It was curated completely by the students in our class. All of the videos that you see, logos, stuff like that, was made by all of the students. And in that class, we actually teach students from the inception of thinking of an event, how to put it on from, from start to finish. Oh, wow, man, that is very good. That's pretty dope. Very interesting. <laughs> man, you were real, well-rounded. You yeah, yeah, yeah. got your head on straight. Thank you. And I'm so glad that you chose the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. I'm glad you chose me. Man, <laughs> to give us a little bit of J-Bag. Can you write quick freestyle me something? Give me okay. something right off the top of your head. It's time to grind, I got no time on my wristwatch. I got to win this race, ain't no pit stops. Why they all chillin', watchin', lovin' the hip-hop? I'm putting in that work, and not the work when you get clocked. Talking about the work you got to grind on your own for. The early morning, late night, stay up alone for. I want to live the life while I make money from home more. Not the type of life I got to take out a loan for. I went to college even though I couldn't afford to. Now I'm all indebted, pretty soon there'll be more due. But you ain't even trippin' when you know you work for you. You like a nine to five with a song ain't for you. I'm talking to the hustlers, everybody that's self-made. Self-list, self-rich, trying to get self-paid. Trying to start their own, I work for what someone else made. We're trapped into this life as soon as they left the 12th grade, but hey, look, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying that you shouldn't go. I'm just trying to tell you something that you wouldn't know. If you like me and you was filling out them scholarships and didn't know that college was our politics because they're going to build you up with all these dreams and get the model shit, make you spend all types of money knowing you ain't got Still for the people who do graduate on time and stuff they pay for learning, could have learned it all online. It's crazy. But at the same time, college made me. I came from the hood. It changed me. Not only because the class of the professors and the knowledge, but because of the connections you're going to make while you're in college. Because if you open up and find some people you can rock with, y'all can make a plan to make some business with the profit. And that's something important. I know I had that knowledge. But that's the only reason why I'm glad I went to college, Brother Mike. Wow, God. <laughs> y'all got to get our studio guest here. We got to give Brother a hand, man. You are really creative and talented. And you probably in life.
I really asked, I spot the drop shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shot, <laughs> spit something out of my <laughs> Bro, but that was deep, man. I okay, just hope, yeah. and I'm sure that uh, God designated everything. And I know we inspired some people today. Uh, man, I'm just overwhelmed, God. Yeah, thank you, thank you. you are really, really, I pray, man, that you are covered by the blood, that uh, no harm comes your way. Uh, I just see a great, bright future. Ahead. And you got to promise me that you'll be back. Oh, uh, you say it. Even in the limousine pulling up, I can see it now. You got to promise you'll be in, you're in your limousine, you probably jump off a flight and run to the Brother Mike show. I just, you just got to promise me that you'll be back. All right, Rick, how, how about we do this? You give me on one of them tracks, you know, unless you're an me. And then I'll come back there anytime you want. You got it. All right. You got it. Hey, the word, the Bible say you have not if you ask not. Right. And you ask for it, I'm calling on you, Doc. I, I just seen what you could do. Uh, been a great, great time uh, in, the, in, in, in this uh, society we live in today. Any positive uh, time you see. I just don't have a brother's own. Ladies, you're welcome to, to the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. But I have to admit, I do have a special place in my heart for my brother. My young brother's coming up. Uh, it's a different world than when I was in. Although, uh, I, can, I, I adapt it to what's going on now. Uh, pray for one another. And uh, keep, us, keep, keep your loved ones and people in your family that's doing and heading in the right direction. Keep them in prayer. Uh, cover them if you can. If you know anything about God, uh, the Bible says pray and keep on praying. Never stop, never cease. Uh, this young man has uh, inspired me today. Uh, and I'm very grateful that he came in my pathway. Man, you know, you, you, I see active and all that in a bright future. Really for you. Thank you. Thank you this so has been a great show here at the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. TV 33, I must give it up for my boss, uh, R.J. Watkins, a uh, great uh, black guy who owns in his own station, the only black owned station here in the city of Detroit. And I think he doesn't get his due enough, but every time I get a chance, I'm going to uh, salute him for giving all of us a chance to uh, be ourselves and have a great show. Uh, this young man, Jay Bass, has a new project. What's the name of it again? Uh, Michigan Weather. Michigan Weather. That's my latest project. And is there a website? Yeah, you can go everywhere, actually. Um, any Spotify, any type of Spotify, Apple Music, anything that you use to listen to music, it'll be there. You can Google my name, Jay Bass, or go to jbass.com, and that's where you can find the link to Michigan Weather everywhere. All right. Is there a special girl you'd like to send out a little shout-out to? Uh, shout-out to my daughter, Daria. Oh, oh wow. Really? How old is she? We didn't know. I didn't know you were yeah, talking about yeah, yeah, she's three years old now. Oh, so wow. She's actually born in Alabama, too. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alabama, we have that in common. They gave me my first award. Yeah. Traditional Gospel Artist of the Year. I just received that a couple months ago. Congratulations. So I went down there, man, and they opened their arms to me. Alabama is such a great state. Yeah. Uh, I had to get out of there because that storm was on the way. And I don't want to remember the big storm that came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, had to get out of there. It's kind of how I like being in Michigan. We don't remember that. We're well, wrapping it up. <laughs> wrapping it up. Uh, he's promised to come back. Uh, you all keep me in prayers. I'm headed to a fashion show. Brother Mike's going to do uh, great some R&B. Uh, I'm just not a gospel artist. The Lord is opening all kind of doors this new year coming. And to be uh, singing nice, clean songs, I don't think there's nothing going to keep me in your prayers. I'm headed off to a wonderful, wonderful Tia Monet. She has a fashion show going on, so I'm leaving here going straight there. Uh, she's going to, to uh, allow us to do a song and uh, show us some of her new collections, some lingerie. So y'all pray for me. I got to go see. I got to go. Uh, till we come back again. It's been a great time. Brother Mike signing out, saying second chances. You remember that God is a God of second chances. Oh,